Hey guys and welcome. So today we're going to be putting together our DIY at home light box. Um, so normally if we were in the classroom we would have our studio and we'd have the light boxes to do our product photography but in our situation with the COVID-19 we're at home and many of you are launch ed so we're going to be putting this together so that we can move forward with our year and you guys can actually take product photography at home. Alright so I asked you guys to pick up some parchment paper, a box, um, if you have it a long box we'll be wanting the more length that we can so if it does open at the top we're going to use it this way but if you did get a tall box we're going to be cutting out in whichever side will give us the more length wise because we want to have a little bit more of a curve and distance between our product and the background. Um, hopefully you picked up your black poster board and your white poster board and if you wanted any colors you could use that also and then for a little bit further on we want our foam boards where we're going to use those to either bounce or block light. Okay so to get started this is going to be our long end so I'm going to cut the sides out for this one and what you want to do is you don't want to cut holes that are going to be wider than the parchment paper. So when we put this on here you can see that it fills this so I'm going to go in just a little bit on the edges and we're going to cut this out. All right so I'm going to use a box cutter um, we also have some exacto knives. If you don't have either one of these um, you want to make sure that you uh, get a pair of scissors and you can poke a hole and cut this. Either way make sure that you consult your parents to make sure that you do this safely because um, you don't want to be going along and all of a sudden ah oh my god and you hurt your finger. Don't worry it's just ketchup. Just messing with you guys. All right. laying around from when I moved. Um, it's a little banged up but you know it's gonna do its job. So again gonna make sure that you mark in just a little bit further. So kind of have your starting point. Now if I had a tall box it would have opened at this end but since I have a short box and it's wider um, I'm going to cut out this side so that I have an opening for the photos to come in. This side's in a little bit stronger setup, so. Alright, so overall, there is the frame of our light box. Alright, and so what we're going to do now is roll out some of our parchment paper, which is going to create a nice side diffusion. Again do be careful with this too because it does have this serrated edge there. Packing tape, fingers tape, any tape really doesn't work. I just have to start taking it
We're going to go ahead and pick one of our backgrounds here. And you want to cut this just slightly thinner than the actual box. Along one end, I'm going to put tape. sure that it has a nice curve to it because um, that is going to help not have that shadow and you won't see a line right there and then at the front we can do the same just a little spot to keep it there all right and the other thing you really need to be able to pick up is going to be some of these lamps um, it doesn't have to be this exact one these ones were about five or six bucks at uh, the local store. You can get these at Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's and things. But these ones that can point will make your life a lot easier. Um, also, no incandescents, those will get hot. We don't want anything to catch on fire. So grab LED bulbs. studio here. Alright, so we're going to use this for multiple different projects. Um, again, be very careful using any of these tools. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves making this. Um, but a pretty inexpensive way to make yourself a little light box for some product photography at home. Alright, if you guys have any questions, feel free to send those in. Um, other than that, be safe, have fun. <laughs>